I visited the cold glaciers of Iceland. I saw the beautiful lakes that melted glaciers created and the grand waterfalls. I felt overwhelmed within the art of majestic Mother Nature. I also experienced ice caves that looked like a scene out of a fairy tale. I was able to make lasting memories of the clear ice. Today I am off to the Golden Circle, a place that represents the nature and history of Iceland. Iceland, located on the North Atlantic, is a country with one of the highest prices for goods in Europe. Nevertheless, many travelers have Iceland on their bucket list. There is a place no one who lays foot on this charming country fails to visit. It is Geyser, today's first destination. Geyser is a popular name for a geyser in southwestern Iceland. It is located 80 kilometers east of Reykjavik, Iceland's capital. I could probably just follow the steam, even if there weren't any signs. <laughs> Several geysers formed after the eruption of Mount Hecla and they are called geyser. Thermal waters boil constantly everywhere and the steam rises as if there is a forest fire nearby. I visited several volcanoes during my trip in Iceland, but I haven't gotten used to the smell of sulfur yet. I see a group of people gathered as I emerge from the steam. They are here to see the geyser. Geysers spurt hot water regularly. They are waiting for a column of water to rise. However, it explodes right then without warning. <laughs> this geyser is the most active geyser in Iceland. <laughs> it is said to shoot up water columns twice every 10 minutes or so, and the height goes up to 30 to 40 meters. Wow, it's an amazing sight, isn't it? Daddy? Yes, I got Tell me. Oh, great. Not, not so bad. Of course, they'd take pictures of this rare sight. <laughs> you got a picture? Yes. Black like shot? From the, from the blue bubble. Mm. Yes. And I think it will happen now. 
Soon after he said that, a spurt of water really rises. He has perfect timing, unlike me. You got it? Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> I missed my opportunity again. However, this time, the American people are going to get the water. They 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 are going to get the you got a guess? I've got okay, it, just... yes, I've got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, lucky I am. Show me. With the big bubble, the last one. Oh, yeah. This one. <laughs> Look at this. This is the result of a long wait. They good? They're yeah, good. <laughs> Thermal waters boil near the surface of the ground and shoot out when the water pressure rises underground. Look, it's really... Wasot이걸보면모든사람들이 이 땅을 아이슬란드 주민한테 기증을 했대요. 이 자연을 이 주민들한테 돌려주면서 이쪽 주민들이 이것을 인해서 또살수 있게. The geyser shoots up again. It is a brief moment, but it delivers an amazing and surprising sight to many people. There are several mesmerizing sights in Iceland. What kind of nature will we find at the end of this road? I leave Geyser and arrive at a place called Golfoss. Together, Geyser, Thingvellir, and Golfoss are called the Golden Circle. This is the place that signifies the nature and culture of Iceland. Wow! <laughs> Along with a roar of the waterfalls, Gullfoss, or the Golden Falls, shows its face. The strong current and its magnificence allowed the waterfall to become one of the world's ten greatest waterfalls. It boasts the dignity of its reputation. The flow of the waterfall that flows without hesitation creates a thick bog. Rainbows are said to appear amidst the water, and the name Golden Falls isn't in vain. Because of these rare and precious sights, the number of tourists who come to see the falls doesn't cease.
It is the mystery of wild nature that is untouched by any man's hands. This is the charm of Gullfoss. That's why we use this time to embrace a vivid memory within the frame. Absolutely fantastic. We got some good ones in Wales, but nothing quite like this. A single photo brings us the excitement within the long wait for it. This is why this is the happiest moment of my life. However, this amazing nature was at risk of disappearing at one time. Ibuni. 이 폭포를 지켜내신 분이에요. 이 엄청난 수령 보세요. 어, 나라에서 이제 수력 발전소를 짓자고 많은 이제 요구를 했는데 이, 이곳 지구역 주민들과 같이 온몸을 바쳐서 이 자연은 우리 것만이 아니라 우리가 자손들한테 물려줘야 될 유산이다. 그렇게 해서 엄청난 긴 시간 동안 끊임없이 운동, 운동을 해서 이 폭포를 지켜냈대요. 수력 발전소를 건설하는 거부터. 아이슬란드 최초의 환경 운동가라고 생각하시면 되죠. The last destination of the Golden Circle is Thingvellir. This area not only has beautiful nature, but it's also very meaningful in the history and culture of the country. It was designated as a national park in 1928 and is where the continental slopes meet. Thingvellir is located on a mid-ocean ridge in the Atlantic Ocean, where the crustal movements penetrate the sea. With the mid-ocean ridge in the center, the tectonic plates of the Earth, the plates of North America and Eurasia meet here. The gap between the two tectonic plates becomes wider by two centimeters every year, and you can observe it better here than anywhere else in the world. The gaps and ditches found here are created by the splitting of the two tectonic plates. Thingvellir is like a sacred place to the people of Iceland. This is a place where there was a war in a thousand years ago. Iceland was a place where there was a place where there was a place where there was a place. 기록 기념한 날이 있으면 이곳에 모여서 그것을 축하. 한 나라가 만들어진 그 중심에 서 있다는 기분은 참 묘해요. 아. <웃음> 세상에
This place, where the world's first parliament took place, is the most historic region of Iceland and was designated as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2004. Congress was held in Thingvellir every year from the early 10th century to the late 18th century. This place where people gathered to create laws and settle disputes is also where weddings are held and where merchants did trade. It is the center of Iceland. The history of Iceland is being carried on in the midst of this peaceful scenery. A building stands out in this place where no one is living. It used to be a pasture for the horses of people who were present at the assembly in the past. Only a few establishments remain here including a church and a farm. It was located on a larger piece of land when it was first built. Now it is preserved and maintained as a historical monument. Along with the history, various elements of nature, such as marshes, lakes and pastures, mingle with one another. It is the perfect location for trekkers. This lake's surface area is 84 square kilometers and it is 114 meters deep. Fissure veins from the North American plate and Eurasian plate that were created when the plates expanded surround the lake. You can see the gap of the earth within the water. This is why many tourists visit this lake to experience it. What's your expectation? Oh, I've never done it before, so first time really excited. <laughs> yeah. I can't come all the way here and not do it. Huh? Oh, it's a boat. Yeah. Ah, Ujubog in the Ujubog. Is it Honon Chigum? Chigue Kalajin Tumser Hurioku Heo. Mam got us on a TP diving at Hushpunde. Ipon and Kunyang. Ah. It's my turn to go in. I'm very excited.
I'm on my way to see the intimate parts of the Earth. Okay, let's look under. It is silent once I go under the water. I will be facing the living Earth underwater. I slowly swim into the open gaps of the Earth's plates. The traces of activity are very clear. I feel a thrill go up my spine. The water is from melted glaciers and is clean and clear because of the rocks that purify it. mesmerizing sight seems to clear my eyes. Did you enjoy it? I did. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's cold, but it's nice. <laughs> um, you can see a deep uh, crack the water and uh, it's uh, there are no fishes but it's it's beautiful from the geology uh -huh. for the divers and not only it's the paradise about visibility over 100 meters which is almost never happened in uh, other places in the world maybe one or two but this is perfect Ooh. <laughs> hey, well done. Oh, I, I want to live with here. You want to live here? <laughs> it's very beautiful, it's yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> Sad to leave right away, I jump into the water again. I can't see where the water ends. I imagine the other side of the earth here. Iceland is a place where everything travelers dream of exists. Next, I'm off to Mivitum to see the aurora in Iceland. Usually, auroras are visible in Iceland from September to April of the following year. Lake Mivitum in the north is one of the places where auroras are easily spotted. Dozens of species of water birds, including ducks, inhabit this area which is a conservation area of nature. Not only is the lake beautiful, but the Krafla volcanic region also creates various sites, 
becoming one of Iceland's most famous tourist attractions. This is why campsites for tourists are well kept in this area. Sleeping in the bosom of Mother Nature is another joy of traveling. This is your sticker for the tent, so yeah. please put it. Oh, um, my, my tent. At my tent. Yes, uh, outside you can put it. And for how many people? One. One person? Yeah. Wow. This is the house that I can build a house. I'm going to build a house. I'm going to build a house. I'm looking forward to spending the night here. However, everything is better when you have a full stomach. I pitch my tent in a hurry and head for the kitchen tent. Exactly. Where are you guys from? I'm from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> They greet me with the famous horse dance when I tell them I'm from Korea. Anyone can easily cook here because cooking utensils are available. Do you like camping? You like yeah, camping? it's good, it's nice. Good. I mean, especially because we are throwing all around Iceland. Uh -huh. It's very, with lots of different things to see. And I can make friends on top of that. <laughs> My lamb steak is finally ready. Part of the fun of camping is cooking your own food. This is the canteen where all the campers can gather. We just met each other a few days ago. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and now you are friend? Yeah. Yeah, I went to Korea and I went to Korea. Anyone want Korean hot dog? Yeah, what? It's spicy. Okay. Let's try it. I'll try. The ground? <laughs> she tries the red chili paste with confidence. I told you, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's burning my mouth off. <laughs> People from completely different parts of the world become friends in this place. <laughs> o The dark sky seems as if it is preparing a stage for the aurora. Finally, a green aurora appears.
thousands of green lights shower down in the sky as if they are dancing. The aurora decorates the night sky, then it disappears abruptly. The glimmer of breathtaking light helps many people dream. Here, I am able to experience the most brilliant morning of my life.